Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon to you all. Welcome to online classes for the subject physics. The grade 7, we are going to continue our lesson from chapter 3 that is energy from the pages 12 and 30. So let's open the book and the pages 12 and 30. So before moving to the pages 12 and 13, let's see what are the learning objectives of the today's lesson. So here are the learning objectives of the today's lesson. First thing we are going to know about energy changes, how the energy is changing. Thereafter we are going to see how we can save the money, saving money or saving energy. Third, we are going to talk about the energy crisis in relation to fossil fuels, coal, oil and natural gases. So dear boys, here we are going to continue with this. Energy, the fuel of life, what we see here. Let's continue from the pages 12 and 13. Here, energy changes. Also, we can see here the saving money, or we can say that energy costs money, and we use large amounts of energy or money each day so by using this kind of methods by making the insulation and all this we can say there is a payback time and with that we can save our money also here the energy crisis where we are going to see the different sources of energy that are non-renewable resources and renewable resources so in that Particularly, we will be going to talk today about the non-renewable resources. So here, energy, as we have seen, that it can change from the electrical energy to the heat energy, light energy or sound energy. Whereas, light energy is converted to the chemical energy. So, here, we can say that energy has a relation with the chemistry. So energy and chemistry where the energy is the capacity to do the work or transfer heat whereas heat is the form of energy that flows between two objects because of their differences in the temperature. Other forms of energy is light, electrical, kinetic and potential energy. Here you can say the payback. Payback time is the time it takes for an energy saving product to from more money than it as originally. So here the insulation of the product we can do here and the insulation cost is mentioned whereas it will be giving you the payback time with the yearly savings. So which insulation product has the quickest payback time that we can find it out from this kind of table. Also you can see here the payback time or these types of insulation of different objects, what we can say, the roof, the windows, ducts, walls. If you are insulating them, the cost of heat escaping per year and the cost of insulation where you are getting the payback time that is given here in the years. So now, furthermore, we are going to talk about the energy sources as I told you the non-renewable energy sources and the renewable energy sources where limited supply once it's used up it's gone for good fossil fuels petroleum natural gas coal nuclear these are all included in the non-renewable energy sources so here boys Fossil fuels are formed by decomposition, heat, pressure, which is acting on buried dead organisms over long periods of time. And we are getting the crude oil 
or we are getting the petroleum in the form of crude oil. Also the natural gases, propane, kerosene, methane, ethane, coal and many more other gases also we are getting from the in the form of uh, natural resources. So here you can see the petroleum well also the coal plant what you see here in this picture. These are the nuclear reactors also where you are finding the natural gas pipelines here in this picture. So these are non-renewable resources where we are talking about the fossil fuels which include different types of oils, gas and jet fuel. They are normally natural resources and extracted from the earth itself. These resources, particularly fossil fuels, also be associated with the mineral fuels and the resources may be crushed, burned or turned into the steam. This kind of fossil fuels form from the organic remains of historic plants and animals. So here you can see how we are getting the different kinds of things from these fossil fuels. Also the petroleum is formed from the comp compression of animal and plant remains over millions of years. Petroleum has to be drilled for because it is usually located deep below the earth's surface and is then refined to produce number of different products including the gasoline, heavy fuel oil and diesel fuels. Here the nuclear energy which is the another resource of non-renewable energy resources. Here the nuclear energy worked by thermal nuclear reactors and the fast reactors. These thermal nuclear reactors once use a moderator to slow down the neutrons produced by fission. The moderator can be normal water, heavy water or graphite. When the normal water is used, it has two types particularly. It is being used with the two types, pressurized water reactors and boiling water reactors, whereas fast reactors does not use the moderator and therefore cannot be built with a water filled Four. So, have uh, used liquid metals, usually sodium, as a coolant. There are some advantages and disadvantages of these kind of non-renewable energy resources, where you are finding the petroleum, gas, and coal are non-renewable energy resources, which means that they will be eventually run out. These energy resources also release greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide into the atmosphere which contribute to the global warming. Also these other pollutants release include the sulfur and nitrogen oxide which can be lead to acid rain and mercury which is the harmful to humans when it is ingested. So with this I am going to conclude here the today's lesson and back with the new video. Till then thank you and goodbye.